Mishika. Today I want to talk about how our cosmology was related to the natural world and how we conceptualize these scientific observations through the use of symbols. Astronomy was the first and most fundamental sciences. Our ancestors made astronomical and seasonal observations which rivaled anything seen in Europe during the Roman Empire or Dark Ages. Our ancestors' knowledge of astronomy is an example of non-Western based scientific knowledge. In this video, we will focus on discussing the concept of the so-called swastika that we independently developed. In our Nikan Tlacat cultures, this term is singular for native and classical knowledge. We had several interpretations for this symbol concept. The four stages of life, childhood, adolescence, adulthood, and old age. The four directions, north, west, south, and east. It represents the symbols Tekpakt for flint in Nahuatl, Kali, house, and cat for cane, Tochli for rabbit. The four elements, fire, earth, air, and water. In this video, we will focus on how the so-called swastika represents the four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Nikan Tlaka, plural for natives, observed that the combined midnight positions of the Ursa Major, the Big Dipper, or Ursa Minor, Little Dipper, at the four divisions of the year, the seasons, made a symmetrical swastika. Now let's watch how this would appear in the night sky at the winter solstice, spring equinox, summer solstice, and autumn equinox. As we saw, the swastika, now Yolin, four directions, or the whirling logs, is drawn by tracing the path of the movements made by Ursa Major constellation along Polaris at different time periods. The following images are examples on how Polaris is emphasized in the designs created by the Mississippian culture and the Teotihuacan culture. Today we learned that our ancestors' artwork was an abstract way to personify science and nature. Tla so for watching the video. Until next time, totaske.